Hey there, uh, Catherine Ottman here, and uh, I'm just doing this little quick tutorial on um, how to resharpen your old blades. Here is an old blade, as you can see. I think this is, I've had this one since, <laughs> probably since 2000, uh, which is when I first start, started with uh, polymer clay. Um, there are a couple things that you can do. Uh, you can use steel wool. Um, this is actually some very fine steel wool. Well, you can see it's double zero. Um, and I got this, I believe, at uh, Harbor Freight Tools. But you can find it um, in a lot of places, even Walmart. Places like that will carry it. Uh, and it's used a lot for um, fine finishing on cars, um, sanding cars, etc. Um, here's a piece that I've actually used previously for something similar to this. Uh, I use also use this for um, sanding my finished polymer pieces. Um, Jeff Dever is the one who taught me how to use this in his class. Um, and then there's the uh, sandpaper. Uh, this is uh, wet dry sandpaper as you can see. And this particular package comes with uh, several different grits. It's uh, 220, 500, 1000, and 1200. Um, wet dry sandpaper goes up to I think 2000, maybe even higher than that. Uh, but for purposes of this, you'll probably be using uh, between 500 and 1000, maybe even 1500. Well, I take my sheets out and I actually cut them in smaller pieces and then I mark them on the back to show what grit it is. Um, some people can tell just from just from looking at the paper itself. You can see there's a little bit of difference in the color here. Um, I prefer to mark them just because uh, sometimes I don't have another piece around to compare it to. So, um, so here is 500 and here's 1,000 grit. And the 1,000 grit, the higher the number, the finer the grit. So uh, you can also use, after you've sanded a bit, you can use uh, these. These are polishing papers, sanding uh, and polishing papers, which I believe I got these from Rio Grande in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, their ma mail order. Um, and they're different grits based on the color as well. Um, I don't have the numbers marked on here, but you can um, look at the package when you get it and you can even go onto their website and find out based on the color what what grit it is um, or how fine it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this blade and I'm going to, you can see it's got um, it's actually got some rust on it too. I'm going to take this blade and carefully put the sandpaper over top of it. Now I'm not going to be pushing it up like this. I'm actually going to be holding it back here fold this a little bit back here like this and just going over those spots you can see my it's not up against the blade here and going like this you can either move the blade or you can move the sandpaper I find it's easier to move the sandpaper and this will not only get off those years worth of uh, gunk that's been built up on it, but it'll also help to sharpen the blade as well. You want to be careful. Um, some people may want to wear gloves doing this. Um, I just like to uh, just watch what I'm doing and be very careful. You can see this the rust is coming off of here, and it's actually, I can feel it, it's actually getting sharper as I go. Um, so I continue to sharpen like this, and I, I actually sharpen my blades probably um, depending on how much I use them, um, maybe once a month. The only blades that I don't sharpen are the wavy blades because they're very difficult to do. Um, okay, so that's that. And then I go to a, a finer grit after that and do the same thing. I just fold it over. This is the thousand grit. And I'm actually placing pressure on this part of the blade underneath. I'm just Sanding. Again, be very, very careful because these blades will be very sharp once you're done. And you will see that it even looks differently. See how here it's nice and clean? That's because you cleaned up all that grit. You've got a nice sharp edge here. 
Um, I mean, you can see the difference here too between this and this. This part has been cleaned and sharpened and this part here has not. So that's it. Quick and dirty. Um, if you have any questions you can uh, email me at uh, Catherine at CatherineOttman.com and that's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N O-T-T-M-A-N uh, or you can find me at um, polymerclayfest.wordpress.com and on Facebook. Thanks much. Nice shiny blade.